Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we're going to be making my cocoa butter body meringue. I've had a bunch of requests for this recipe in video format, so here we are. So this is a really neat project. We're basically going to be making a lotion, but we're only going to use cocoa butter for our carrier oil. Cocoa butter is brittle at room temperature, and so that means when we make a lotion with a bunch of cocoa butter in it, it ends up being quite thick. And in this case, it ends up being thick enough that we can whip it. We can use our electric kitchen beaters to whip a bunch of air into it, which gives it this lovely light texture. When it's fresh, you can daub it up like you would a meringue and get those lovely like sort of soft peaks with it. And as it settles down, you get a really neat airy marshmallowy texture. Because there's a ton of air in this lotion, you can spread it over a wide area of your skin, which means it's not at all greasy, which is also fantastic, especially on warmer days like these ones. All right, let's go whip ourselves up some cocoa butter body meringue. We'll start by getting our water part ready. So in here we have 70 grams of just boiled water, and this here is three grams of raw honey. If you don't have honey or if you are vegan, you can just use more vegetable glycerin in place of the honey. And then in here we have two grams of vegetable glycerin. And then we'll get our oil part put together. So we have 18 grams of cocoa butter in one convenient lump and seven grams of emulsimulse or reed emulse emulsifying wax. You could also use BTMS 50 for this project. I'm not hugely sold on using polo wax or emulsifying wax NF because they don't set up quite as quickly as emulsimulse or BTMS 50. But if that's what you have, you can definitely give it a go. It just will probably take you a little bit longer. All right, so we're gonna put these in here. So this is just a saute pan that's got about an inch of water in it. And I'm going to go put this on my stove top over medium heat for about half an hour to melt everything through and also to heat the water up and hold it to kill any bacteria that might be living in it. All right, so now that our cocoa butter and emulsifying wax have melted through and our water is all heated through, we're going to remove these from the water bath and set the water bath aside. We are done with that. Give these a quick stir and we're going to pour the oils into the water part. And we'll grab our immersion blender and give this a couple quick blasts to get it emulsifying. You can see two blasts and we're already on our way to a lovely white creamy bit of deliciousness. All right, now that that's thoroughly blended, we're going to leave it to cool down for a little while and come back and add our preservative, and then we can move on to the whippy meringue part. It's been 15 minutes, and this is starting to thicken up nicely. We'll give it a blend to help it sort of thoroughly incorporate, because you can see the bits that have thickened on the top and on the sides are just looking a little, little curdle lumpy-ish, but not, nothing a good blending won't fix. So you want to lift the blender up and sort of push it back down along the sides to help scrape down any lotion that squirts out and heads up the side of your cup. We are ready to add our preservative now. So this here is half a gram of liquid Germal Plus. You don't need much, but it'll, it's potent stuff that'll get the job done. And don't be tempted to use extra to make it extra preserved. Um, this stuff is potent enough that using too much is really not a good idea. So we'll give that 
another good blending there to thoroughly incorporate our preservative. Okay. So we're not adding any essential oils to this because the cocoa butter smells so amazing that we honestly don't need them. You could add a little bit of benzoin if you wanted or maybe some coffee essential oil to really complement the delicious chocolate scent, but I'm perfectly happy for my body meringue to just smell like just chocolate. So at this point we're done with our immersion blender, so I'm going to disconnect this and we can go put that away and wash it. So up until this point, the blending that we've been doing with the immersion blender is a high shear blend to really just blend everything together and get a nice stable emulsion. But in order to turn this into a body meringue, we actually need to get a bunch of air in here, which is where a set of kitchen beaters like you'd use for making cookies come in handy. And so to use those, I find it's, it's much easier to use a bowl than to use um, one of these measuring cups. So we're just gonna transfer our lotion into a relatively small, but still quite deep mixing bowl. You can really use your spatula to get as much as possible out of here. So we are relying on the fatty acid makeup of cocoa butter to end up making a lotion that is thick enough that it can sustain having water beaten into it. Think about trying to beat air into butter versus canola oil. Obviously, you'll be able to beat quite a lot of air into butter and get it light and fluffy because butter is solid, but canola oil is not solid at room temperature, so you can't really whip any, any air into that. It just kind of gets frothy and then deflates. So in order to really be able to whip this up, we're going to need to get it to set. So I'm going to put a bit of cling film over the top of this and put it in the fridge. The cling film is to keep it from drying out because you know that's no good. We don't want our lotion to dry out. But we're gonna be putting this in the fridge for about an hour and then taking it out and beating it, sort of repeating that a couple times. So it'll take a while, but most of it's downtime. So let's go put this in the fridge. So it's been an hour and we are ready to give our body meringue its first beating. So I've got my electric kitchen mixers here. I have no idea where the secondary whisk attachment went, but that's all right. And let's give this a whisking. So that started to increase in volume a little bit, but it still needs to be chilled and whipped a few more times. So back goes the cling film and back into the fridge we go. Another hour has gone by and it's time for another round of whipping. Okay, I'm gonna cover this and chill it and whip it again, but it's probably going to be more than an hour this time because I am going to bar class. So it's been three hours. I'm back from my bar class. It was a great workout. Let's see where we're at. Give this a little spatula stir. All right, so this is getting pretty light and what we're looking for uh, if, you're, if you're familiar with making meringues, you'll know this step where you can sort of dowb at it and you'll get little little peaks. So we're getting there. So I think we're just sort of one, one beating away and we're ready to lightly spoon this into our container.
Excellent. So you can see when we tap the lotion with the spatula, we get this lovely little meringue dollop. So that's fantastic. So we are ready to lightly spoon this into our container. So you can set this aside. You don't need that anymore. So I've got a cute little tin here. It's an eight ounce or 240 milliliter tin. So we're going to be quite gentle with this because we don't want to squish out all that air that we've so carefully worked in there. You can see that the consistency of this is very different from a standard lotion. Gently press that down. You can give this a couple light whacks on the meaty part of your hand to help it settle down gently. You don't want any really big air bubbles in there. And since this is so thick, that can happen. So see if we can prevent that. test. So because this has so much air in it, it spreads around the skin really beautifully and sinks in really quickly. So for a fun little bit of presentation, you can kind of dollop the top of the lotion. Obviously putting the lid on it will ruin the effect, but that's kind of, <laughs> kind of a fun thing to do to take a picture or something. You can see how texturized it is. And there you go. You just made a cocoa butter body meringue. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check the description box below for the full recipe and links to everything I used in this project. See you next time.